Yo, what's up, you boy Kinsala, GWT, how are you all doing? Yeah, Ricegum is moving too mad. Yeah, he's he's moving too mad. And uh, for those of you that don't understand, uh, we're gonna watch a drama alert to keep you up to date. Today, we have Ricegum on the line. We're gonna talk about some drama with him and KSI and his ex-girlfriend, which has been popping off on the interwebs. KSI unfollowed you on everything. He oh. deleted the the music video. He did, oh, he shit. did, but then he brought it back though because it had like four, 40 mil, so he knew it needed to be back. But no, he put it back. All right, first of all, I haven't unfollowed him from everything. Uh, let me fix that. Okay. okay, now I unfollow him from everything. Secondly, he says I brought back the music video because it needed to be brought back since it had so many views. I mean, again, I'll show you how much I don't give a fuck. Okay, uh, I understand. Delete forever. Okay, all right, that's done. All right, let's continue. God, he's so petty for no reason. I don't get it. I, I, I'm keeping it hundred. It's stemming from the Logan Paul fight. Like I said, man, KSI, he didn't send me a free ticket, bro. All right, right Scum. So apparently I am being petty because I unfollowed you on social media. But aren't you being petty as well since I didn't give you a ticket for the KSI Logan fight? And to be honest, right Scum, you're right. I should have found the time to get you a ticket for this fight. You know, it's not like I wasn't training for the fucking fight. Even on video, I even said, you know, I was rooting for KSI. Like, we can find that somewhere. Um, he probably saw a clip that was taken out of context, but bro, and then so that led to him unfollowing me, then like deleting the video. Rice, I unfollowed you because you, you've been dissing me. <laughs> you've literally been dissing me in your music. This is on your The Adult song. Where is it at? He say he popping, but where is his plaques? Someone should tell him he trash. I mean, who else are you fucking talking to? I've made a song called Poppin. This song came out a week after Poppin. Also, you were literally chatting shit on a podcast about me. I feel like my songs are better than his. Dude, I haven't heard anyone say, turn on that new KSI song. They don't say it about me either, but still, nobody is there yet. I mean, at this point, you're just delusional. And I saw all of this and I was like, nah, fuck this guy and I followed you. So yeah, if that makes me petty, then fuck it, I'm petty. You know my feature, bro, at the time, he wasn't even pulling numbers. My music was really up. Gave the man a feature. He was like, yo, how should we split the earnings? Like, should I pay you? Bro, I straight up said, nah, it's cool. I'll just keep it, man. Like, I don't even want anything. Just in the future, just give me a feature, you know, back. And like, I don't think that will ever happen, but like. All right, Rice Gum, you, you do know you're chatting shit now, right? So with the split, I'm not too sure what the percentage was, but uh, I'm pretty sure it was 50-50. And you got paid. You got paid for the track. I think you're still getting paid for the track. You never said, nah, it's cool. I paid you, my nigga. You never said in the future, just give me a feature back. I thought your numbers were up. So why would you want a feature from me? A man is saying I wasn't even pulling numbers, but I did Little Boy, which is on like 15 plus mil. And that was in the clout house. And you were in the clubhouse, fam. You were there when I filmed it. The only reason I asked you to hop on the track was because you also had beef with Ethan. I was like, hey, Rice has got beef. I've got beef, let's collab and then make a diss track at Ethan. We both knew it was going to do numbers, you're chatting shit. And this guy's saying his music is up like he's fucking Drake or some shit. Fam, he had like one good song, maybe two. Actually, you know what, after I react to this, I'm going to do something. Nah, but KSI Petty, bro, he just possessive and clingy, like, why can't I have other friends? Like, he's like, oh, you can't be friends with look. Like, guys, come on, man. What is he, what is he on about? How am I clingy? What the fuck? <laughs> What are you talking about? Seriously, fam. What are you what are you talking about? When you came on my podcast, Mom's Basement, I think there was another comment that kind of set JJ off, right? Like we uh, we were talking about his music and you were saying Man man still like, uh yeah, like like he don't fucking know what he said. Fuck off. Music's that good. Do you think maybe I that never, I don't think I ever said that. I said like yeah, he's Well you did. <laughs> I don't think I ever said that. I said like, yeah, he's doing his thing, bro. At the end of the day, everyone's doing their own thing. Right. I just personally think my stuff is better. I personally, bro, we can just shit. ask the comments, man. My my shit was slap, bro. I really said I never give an F like a nice teacher. Bro, when has he ever said anything even close to that? 